how to create patterns using leonardo.ai and use it for print on demand. So go ahead and open your browser. What we need to do is to know where to use the patterns. The most common websites to put patterns and turn it into a product are Redbubble, Amazon Merch, and Printful. You can also use the website you're using if you already have one, but for this video, I'll be specifically using Redbubble to make products. So go to the red bubble, sign up or log in so that we have the ability to sell our pattern on products. Since we want to sell, make sure to choose the artist sign up instead of the customer one. Now input your credentials and after that, go to another tab and type in leonardo.ai. We have to sign up in here as well. So tap on get instant access, input your first name and your email. And as you can see here, once you submit this, you will not get to use the application immediately. You will just be on the line of the waitlist. Now, this will take some time, but one thing that I did that made my account access its features faster is I joined their Discord server. In here, there are channels on the newest updates. So once you have access to Leonardo.ai, this AI-generated images will show on your screen and what would you want to do is to make sure that you are in the home tab. Now scroll down in here and find patterns so that we have a reference on what to do. So for example, here is a flower pattern. So let's simply tap on the heart on that. Scroll down in here and this is another flower pattern. So as long as you like its color, the pattern, the art style, just add it to your favorites. It looks like Leonardo is famous and great at generating flower-based patterns. So it's good to consider making flower patterns when you're using this platform. Now, aside from flowers, here's a planet pattern, fruit, and some animal patterns. So just add it to your favorites. Now, once you're done, go back to the top. And another way to find pattern inspirations is here on the featured models. Here are some art styles. And if we tap on it, for example, this Luna model, images with the same art style will appear. And as you scroll down, pattern images will show. So just add it again to your favorites. So the same with the other featured models that you want to explore. Now, once we have liked enough patterns, go to the left panel on your screen and go to personal feed. In here, above, select like feed and in this page we will see everything that we liked a while ago and what we need to do now is to select one that we like the most and go to its prompt details once you're here click on copy prompt or you can also use the image to image feature which will give you a very similar image from the photo but for now i will just copy the prompt go to the ai image generation Paste in here what we copied and from here you can edit its description if you have something specific to edit. So for example, instead of the flowers in the past photo that I like, I want it to be specifically daisies. So I'll just type in that and in here once you're done editing the description, go to the left panel, turn on the toggle for tiling so that we can adjust its resolution later when we're putting these products after that click on the generate button and as you all can see i have the same art style the same color palette the same pattern but with just a different flower because that's what i edited from the description so you can just add in and edit specific details as well such as colors background position of the elements and the texture it's the nice thing about this ai generating images you can keep on asking and editing for more. Now download the image if you already have something that you like and proceed to Redbubble or any website where you will make your products. In here, tap on add new work and choose the pattern that we generated from Leonardo. Once it's loaded, scroll down and in here you will see a lot of product with your pattern on top of it. As you can see, our current resolution is way too small for the t-shirt. So let's skip that for now, but don't worry because we will have a tool later to scale up our pattern. Let's scroll down in here and I think it fits the phone case well. 
So click on the edit button and adjust it so it perfectly fits the product. And once you're done editing, click on apply. Here it fits the mug as well and also the pop socket. If you want your pattern to be on a product that is not enabled, simply tap on this and you will then be able to edit it. Here, as you can see, since our design is small, it looks weird on the curtain. And if we try to put it into grid, it will look a lot more ugly. So let's not enable that. Now go back to the top and input its title, some tags or keywords to make your product easier to search. And lastly, the description. I mentioned a while ago that we can resize the resolution of our pattern. And to do that, open another tab and type in vectorizer.ai. This platform would make our image a vector, and in that way, its resolution will not be pixelated, and the quality of the image will not be destroyed once we use it on the bigger products like the t-shirt and the window curtain. So just put your image in here, and once the vectorizer is finished, you will see that we have the same photo, just a vector version. Now we need to download it and make sure that it is on PNG file format so we can make it bigger. After this, you can use any editing platform like Photoshop and Canva to make your vector bigger. I will use an open Canva, create a new design and input the resolution that you want. In my case, I'll type in 4500 by 4500 just so I have a square canvas. After that, go to the left panel. Upload your PNG file, adjust it to fit the screen, and after that, download it again as a PNG. Once it's downloaded, proceed to the red bubble, and as you can see, it can now be adjusted to fit this bigger product, like the t-shirt, this large print clothing, and even the window curtains. The current PNG is not enough for it, but when we try to make it a grid, you can easily adjust it. And the flower pattern is way bigger and more decent to look at than what we have a while ago. So as you can see, it pretty much fits everything, even the drawstring bag and the miniskirt. So now let's go back to leonardo.ai. And this platform provides free 150 tokens per day. And one set of four images requires only 16 tokens. So imagine how many you can do in a day and even in a week. So make sure to utilize the free tokens in the leonardo.ai per day. You can generate as many as you can and use the platforms to turn your pattern into print on products. So that is how to create patterns using leonardo.ai and use it for print on demand. Do let us know if this video helped you out. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop them down below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.